a Neckville banjo, a Neckville Phantom. This is a very modern banjo. It has no fifth string peg. Now some of the old banjos did this, the string runs under up to the peg head. Guitar tuners style peg head tuners. Uh, it has a very unusual uh, adjustment for the head, very much like a jam jar, the whole head screws down, or, there, or rather there's a uh, behind, there's a, a big, the, the outside is a large cog I suppose you could say, and it actually tightens the head down evenly rather than uh, at different points all around the banjo. So it's, it's a revolutionary type of instrument. The neck is totally adjustable from the rear, so you can put a, a, a key in here and bring the neck up and down. Um, Notable players, one is obviously the banjo player from the Punch Brothers, whose name I have trouble remembering, it's, it's hard to pronounce, but he, uh, he has a neck bill. <coughs> this is uh, pretty much as good as new, it's a beautiful banjo, Coca Bolo armrest, which is nice, it's nice and smooth and comfortable, not cold. Uh, uh, black chrome, of course, just to make it a real phantom. It has, tonally, it's very different from your traditional Gibson, Stelling, Deering, whatever banjos. It has a darker tone, radiused fingerboard slightly here as well, and, and uh, sort of more, gif the frets are wider, it's sort of maybe like a Gibson sort of guitar frets or something, I don't know, it's, a, it's wider spacing for people with bigger hands, the, finger, the strings seem to be a bit wider apart. Substantially lighter than a traditional bluegrass banjo with the full pot. The pot is actually, I have looked inside the pot, the shell is actually probably half the size of a, uh, a traditional banjo. So, so uh, not the right kind of tune, that's grandfather's clock. More like.